Hello friends, I'm Swapna Shetty. In this video, we are going to see the differences between CUI and GUI and how to create frames and what is event delegation model, uses of frame and how to draw text or pictures or images in a frame. So first is CUI versus GUI. CUI is another one, it's a character user interface. Earlier to GUI, we had got CUI, that is character user interface. So in this, the user will have to remember all the commands which are in characters. For example, if, I want, if a user wants to give a print command, he needs to give a print command saying P-R-I-N-T and he needs to follow the correct syntax of the print command, whether to write it in capital letters or small letters, which is not very user friendly. So then the GUI, that second way where the user need not remember any commands but he can interact with any application by clicking on some images or graphics. For example, if the user wants to print a file, he can click on a printer image and the rest of the things will be taken care by the application. So the user has to tell how many copies he wants or uh, or how how the print should be, either it should be in landscape or portrait, all this he need to mention. He need he need not remember any commands, he just uses the images. Like for example, for printing an image, he can use printer image. And for searching anything, he can use a symbol called magnifying glass symbol. And for a directory, we use a symbol of briefcase symbol and so on. So the environment where the user can interact with any application through graphics or images is called GUI, that is graphics in user interface. And it has got some advantages like it is more user friendly, that is the user need not worry about any commands. And it adds attraction and beauty to any application since we add some pictures, colors, menus, animations and so on. And it simulates the real life objects. That is, a calculator program may actually display a real calculator on the screen. The user feels like he is interacting with the real calculator and he will be able to use it without any difficulty or special training. That is, the GUI eliminates the need of user training. And moreover, it helps to create graphical components like push buttons, radio buttons, checkboxes, and so on. And coming to the abstract window toolkit, it represents a class library to develop applications using GUI. Basically, java.awt.package will contain all the classes and interfaces used to develop GUI and, the, let, and lets the users interact in a more friendly way with the application. And this is the image where it is showing the classes of AWT, like object is a superclass in which we have checkbox group and component. And under component, we have different classes like label, button, checkbox, and so on. Next is a component. It represents an object which is displayed pictorially on the screen. For example, if we create a button B equals to new button, a button class object. Here B would be object of button class. That is if we display this B on the screen, it displays a push button. So component is nothing but it's a graphical representation of an object. And window and a frame. A window is nothing but it's again a frame without any borders or title bar. Whereas frame contains borders and title. And how do we create a frame? Frame is basic a component in AWT and whenever we want to display some buttons like push buttons, radio buttons or check boxes, all these components are displayed in a frame. So we need a frame first of all, which is a very basic component in AWT. And there are three ways to create a frame. That is one way is to uh, create an object of frame class that is frame f equals to new frame. And the second way is giving a title for the frame. And the third way is creating a subclass, that is uh, class my frame extends frame, creating a subclass and creating an object to that class and using it. So let's see how do we create a frame first. So for that I need a project. So simply it's a new Java project. 
project name is some AWT samples. Say next and then say finish. And here create a class within a package com dot educators. And the name of the class would be my frame with a public static void main. So in order to use a frame, I need to import a package called java.awt. So import that package first, import java.awt.star. And now create a frame object. Frame f equals to new frame. Then whenever I create a frame, it would be of something like 0 width and 0 pixel width and 0 pixel height. That is, it is, which is not at all visible on the screen. So to make a frame visible on the screen, I need to set the size of the frame first. That is using f dot set size. Give the width and height. That is 300 width and 400 height. And then say set visible, which actually, which uh, this method will actually show or hide the window depending on the value parameter. So here I'm giving it as true, so it will show the window. And so this is the frame, so let's execute and see. And as Java application, so you can see a frame with no title, which has got minimize symbol, maximize symbol and close symbol. So for now, let me give a title for it. Let us by passing a string over here that is my frame. So just run it and check. Run as Java application. You can see the title my frame with which minimizes as well as we can maximize it. But we cannot close it. So when we are trying to close, click this button, wrong symbol here, this cannot be closed. Even, even if we click this close button of the frame, it will not perform any closing action. So how to close a frame is, closing a frame means attaching action to the component. To attach actions to the components, we need event delegation model. So for that, let's know what is event delegation model first. So when we create any component, generally the component is displayed on the screen, but it is not capable of performing any actions. For example, we created a push button, which can be displayed, but cannot perform any action. Even if someone clicks on it, the user cannot see any action. That is, he clicks on the button. So clicking like this is called an event. An event represents a specific action done on a component, like clicking, double clicking, typing data inside the component, mouse over are all examples of the events. So when an event is generated on the component, the component will not know about it because it cannot listen to the event. So to let the component understand that an event is generated on it, we should add some listener to the components. So a listener is an interface which listens to an event coming from a component. So a listener will have some abstract methods which need to be implemented by the programmer. So when an event is generated by the user on the component, the event is not handled by the component. So the component delegates that event to the listener attached to it. The listener will not handle the event. It hand handover that is it delegates that event to an appropriate method so finally the method will be executed and the event will be handled so this is called event delegation model so the main advantage of event delegation model is to provide actions to the awt components so what are the steps in event delegation model so first thing is we need to attach an appropriate listener to the component. 
that can be done by using add triplex listener like add window listener add action listener and so on with such methods we can attach appropriate listener to the component so and then the next step is to implement all the methods of that listener so when an event is generated on the component then the method will be executed and the event will be handled and coming to the advantages of EDM, EDM is nothing but event delegation model. So the component and the action parts can be developed in separate environments. That is we can create a component in Java and the action logic can be developed in Visual Basic. Similarly debugging and maintenance of code is easy. That is if we can modify the code for creating the component. That is without modifying for action part we can modify the component which will not affect the action part. Similarly, vice versa. When we modify anything in action part, that need not affect the component part. So this makes debugging and maintenance of code very easy. So let's come back to the closing. How do we close the frame? So we know frame is also a component. So when we want to close the frame by clicking on its close button, we need to follow some steps. The first and foremost thing is we need to import a package java.awd.event package. All the listeners which we attach to the frame components are located in the event sub package. So we need to import the sub package first and then attach the shootable listener. For example, uh, for window closing, we the, for the listener which we use is window listener. So how do we attach window listener is using a method called f dot action window listener and pass the window listener object. So remember window li listener is an interface. We cannot create an object to an interface. So we need to implement uh, the class, the interface and then create the object of the implementation class and pass that object over here. And then finally is implement all the uh, methods of the window listener interface. So for closing a window, we need to implement a method called window closing. And since I want to terminate from the application as, well as, as soon as I click on close button, so I'm just giving system.exit of zero. So when the frame is closed, the body of this method is executed and the application gets closed. So in this way, we can handle the frame closing event. So let's see how do, how do we close a frame. So this is how we got a frame here firstly. So I do one thing is I follow the third way of extending frame. So this way also I can create a frame. That is when I run this a frame got opened but when I click on close it's not getting closed. So how do we handle this? So just terminate from the application. Then firstly is we need to write an implementation class of the window listener. For that I am writing a class called my class. So class my class implements window listener which is in package event. So under this I need to implement all the methods of it. So just add add unimplemented method. So you can see many methods like window activated, window closed, window closing, window deactivated, deiconified, iconified and open. All these are the methods inside window listener. So for closing a window I just implement this method called window closing. So I just simply say system dot exit of zero. And now, after creating a from frame, then I need to attach this window listener by using f dot add window listener of pass the object of the implementation class that is new my class. And then say same call. So when I run this. So when I close, the frame gets closed. So here, if you look at this my class, we have overridden. That is, we have in, uh, implemented all the methods of the window listener. 
so the other way of achieving that we need not override the unused methods here so how to avoid using implementing or using this unused methods for that we have a class called window adapter so let me remove all this except window closing method so here I use instead of window listener I use an adapter class called window adapter so which is located in a package again Okay, so window adapter is not an interface, it's a class. So my class should extend. It's not implementing. So class, my class extends window adapter, which is located in event package. So import that package as well. And then we are only overriding a method which we which is really necessary. We need not override all the methods which are not required. So that is the basic advantage of using adapter classes. So let's execute and see. So you got a frame and I'm clicking on close. It's getting closed. So that is the advantage of adapter classes. We need not implement all the window. Basically window adapter class is an implementation class of the window listener interfaces which contains all the methods implemented with the empty body. So when I want only window closing method, I can use only closing, avoiding all the other methods. And the other way of using this or uh, performing this closing the window action is, so instead of passing an object of my class here, I write this complete window adapter in, as a method parameter. For example, I simply write as a method argument. So here it's an object so just and remove this. So here when you look at this I basically instead of creating a class I have written the whole class except the class name inside the method of add window listener as an argument that is here you cannot see any my class here but still I have created an object of new window adapter and just overridden a method that is my class is an inner class of a class called my frame that is which has not seen inside this program for example like if we cannot find the name of my class anywhere in the code that means the name of my class is hidden in my frame class so it becomes an inner class in my frame class whose name is not mentioned so such an inner class is nothing but it's an anonymous inner class so this way also we can close the frame so three ways we have seen. One is using, uh, implementing all the methods of window listener interface and then by using window adapter class and by implementing only the required method and by directly copying the code of an anonymous inner class. So let's execute this and check. So you can find a frame which has been closed when clicked. So we have seen an adapter class. The main advantage of adapter class is it reduces the overhead on the programming. And uses of a frame. It basically used to draw graphical shapes like dots, lines, rectangles, and also to display text and frames, pictures, images, and components like push buttons, radio buttons in a frame. 
and drawing in a frame how to how to draw pictures or text inside a frame so for that we basically require graphics class of aw java.awt package which has got some methods like draw line draw rect draw round rect and so on so draw line here x1 the line would be drawn whose starting point would be x1 y1 and ending point would be x2 y2 similarly for a rectangle the coordinates would be it starts from x and y and the height would be h and width is w and round rect here we mention arc w and arc h arc w it represents the horizontal diameter of the arc at the corner and arc h represents the vertical diameter of the arc at the corner that is here the round rect means it draws the outline of a rectangle with rounded corners similarly we can draw an oval by using draw oval method and paint in to draw any of these shapes we need paint method of the component class so this always refreshes the frame contents automatically when a drawing is displayed and it is automatically called when a frame is created and displayed so let's see how do we draw uh, inside a frame so for that i write a class called draw one with the main method and inside a package com.educators so in the draw one first thing is i need to import both the packages import java.awd.star and import java.awt.event.star so import both the packages and then inside a default constructor i would just write a uh, inside a class i would just write a default constructor like say draw one so inside this i would just write a code for closing the frame so i would simply add this whole code there of closing the frame just which have, which we have seen just now so instead of f i would use this so before this we would just write something in main first we create a frame so for creating a frame i require an object of draw one first so create an object of draw one draw one equals to draw one d equals to new draw one and then set the size for the frame for that i draw one should extends frame class so now you can see set size and adjust the width and height as some 400 and 400 and then say d dot i can set the title as well So write a string over here. Say my drawing. And finally say set visible of true. So frame is ready. Now I need a paint method which is automatically invoked whenever a frame is created and displayed. So for that I would simply write public. void paint so which has got an argument of graphics 
So first as I'm setting the color first, set color of as color dot blue. Setting the color and I'm just trying, trying to draw a smiley. So for that I require a rectangle wherein it contains a smiley. So for that I will draw a rectangle. Draw rect of say some 40 40 start from 40 40 and width would be something around 200 and height is around 200 of a rectangle next is I draw an oval that is a face so for that draw oval which is say 90 70 80 and 80 oh, that is a for the face and inside the face I want to draw eyes so for that G draw G dot draw oval again wherein here I have 110 and 95 and say 55 five. one more I draw oval wherein I say 145 95 5 and 5 these both are eyes and next draw for the nose that is draw line here I would say 130 95 130 115 this is for the nose and finally for the mouth I'm drawing an arc that is draw arc with 113 115 35 and height would be around 20 and start angle is 0 and arc angle is I am saying 180 so this draws the mouth so let's try to execute so it's not getting close so let's see what's the error so here the P should be small not caps so make it small and then try to run it so you can see a rectangle and inside a big face and two eyes and one line for the nose and the arc for the mouth and when you close it the frame gets closed so this is how we draw inside a frame using methods of graphics class so that's all with the session